I'm reading, going to read my letter that I sent to the UN. Global warming is slowly changing this planet and it's not for the better. It's real and it's here. We need to fix the Earth before it's too late. However, many scientists have asked themselves this question. How do we solve global warming? It's not very easy. You can't just snap your fingers and have it solved. It's much, much harder than that. It's hard because there are higher temperatures, changing landscapes, wildlife at risk, rising sea levels, the increased risk of droughts, fires and floods, stronger storms, and more. The main reason why is because people are burning fossil fuels, which are releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The Earth needs greenhouse gases, which are produced naturally, but too much causes global warming. We need to stop burning fossil fuels. According to the EPA, we can use alternative energy sources. We need to use energy sources that don't release carbon into the air. I'm going to talk about two clean energy sources that do not release greenhouse gas into the air. They are solar and wind energy. Solar energy has three different ways to get energy from sunlight. One, photovoltaic cells convert sunlight into electricity. This uses solar panels to get sunlight. Then using a semiconductor, the sunlight gets converted into energy. You can also use heat from sunlight to boil water. This creates steam. The steam spins a turbine that is connected to a generator. Then the steam cools and turns back into water, so the water is recycled and you can redo this. This is called solar thermal technology. A final way is to simply let the sun shine through the windows to heat the building, which is called passive solar heating. We can use wind energy also. Wind energy is made by wind turbines. The wind turbine is connected to a generator. When the wind blows, the blades rotate and the generator creates energy as it turns. But these ideas are useless without using them. And I know if we were going to start with New York City to solve climate change, we could start with the schools because they must use a lot of energy with all their laptops and such. If we write to the DOE of New York City, we could show them all the ways they can help solve this problem. If the UN helped, this would be a start. Even though this is a minuscule step and a tiny step, which is the thousands of a small step, which can, would fit into a big step many times, it is a start.